In this tutorial, we are going to extract all objects from a DOS module. For each object, to display the object text and object heading attributes. Then we will look through all linked objects and get all their children. The information from the linked module will be displayed into a table and will contain three attributes, absolute number, create on and object text. A master page will be created and in the header we will display the current chapter representing the headings from the main module. The template will contain some additional structures like table of contents, table of tables and it will also have a title page section. To iterate through module objects we need a door schema. Use the default schema located in the installation folder and name the data source main module. Create a container. Select the container element in the palette view and click in the desired location in the template content editor. To set the module object query to the container, drag the query from the data source schemas view and drop it in the container. It is recommended to use the container element when you want to iterate a collection of elements. The container element will not add extra empty paragraphs. Add two paragraphs to the container. Go in the main module schema and look for object heading attribute. Drag and drop it in the first paragraph. RPE will create a new text element with module object object heading attribute. In the second paragraph, we will extract the object text from the DOS module. For each paragraph, we will filter the data using conditions. From the contextual menu, select Edit Condition and add a new condition to the first paragraph. Object heading different from the empty string. On the second paragraph, add the condition Object text different from the empty string. You can select the operands from the combo box and press the Add button or write the condition directly on the script expression editor. Add a container to hold the module object link query. With the newly created container selected, go to the properties view and add the native filter. Link direction in. More information about those native filters can be found on RPE Help. Insert a data source configuration element that will be configured with a new DOS data source named Linked Module. After a data source is added to a template, it will be visible in the Outline view and in the Data Source view in the left side of the screen. Expand the Data Source Schemas node and drag the new schema into the Data Source Configuration element. Configure the Data Source URI in the Property view with the source full name attribute from module object link. Insert a container to hold the module object query from the link module data source schema. In this container, add a new container element. This container will be used to filter only the children of the linked object from the linked module. Set the name of this container linked object children. Create a new paragraph inside the last created container and drag the object heading attribute. The attribute can be found in the context of the fourth query from the linked module data source. We will store the value of the heading number attribute of the linked object into an internal variable named linked object heading. The variable will be then listed in the outline view under the variables node.
To assign the heading number, add a container with module object link linked object query. Select the second context. Use assign variable mechanism to store the heading number value of the linked object. Add the variable and assign from data expression tab the heading number attribute which is located under linked object query. Next, we will add a condition for the linked object children container that will select only those objects having the heading number attribute starting with the value of the internal variable we have created before. In the edit condition dialog, you can use a drag and drop feature to add the operands into the resulting JavaScript expression. In the same way, we will filter the non-empty objects from the paragraph displaying the object headings from the linked module data source. We want to display the three attributes absolute number, object text and created on in a table with three cells in order to access the created on attribute which cannot be found in our default schema we will edit the linked module data source using schema discovery. Select the doors connection type in the schema discovery wizard the first option, Use Existing DOS Instance, requires you to start rational DOS, as we have done in this tutorial. The second option, New DOS Instance, will create a DOS process in the background. Select a module. In this tutorial, we have used System Requirement module from RPDemo. Then select current baseline and check created on attribute. Go to the end of the wizard and press the finish button. The old schema was replaced by the newly updated one and the create on attribute was added to our schema. As we have said before, we will display a table with two rows and three cells. Insert a static text on each cell from the first row. Absolute number, created on, and object text. On the second row, we will have a query to extract the desired data for each cell. Select the table and create a condition to filter only those objects with a non-empty object text attributes. We will create another condition to determine if the table header in the first row was already printed. If so, we will not display this row again. For this, we will use an internal variable, first row was printed. This variable will be set to true the first time the table is displayed.
Create a container below the data source configuration element. Use this container to assign the first row of printed value to false. Add a special container inside the table and move the first row inside it. We will use this container to add a condition on it. Create another container element below the special container and use it to assign the first row of printed variable to true. Save the document template and make a quick run. Configure your document specification and main module data source. Press the Generate button to start the document generation process. Create a new style for the header cells using New Style option from Style menu or the Contextual menu in the Outline view on Styles mode. Set the name of the new style to Cell Header Style. In the Select Style property screen, select the cell element and add it to the result list. On the next screen, select Cell Background Color from Color sub-property and set its value to Gray. You can see the hexadecimal value on the screen. Set the bolts a property of font to true. Then go to the end of the wizard and press finish. The style will be added into the styles node. The newly created style will be set on each cell from the first row. Just drag the style from the outline view and drop it on the cells. Set the cell width to 100 for the cells that contain the absolute number and the creation date. Then select the table and set table intent to 50 under positioning property. Apply the same value for the left intent property in the paragraph that precedes the table.